What is the PSA test? Prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is a protein produced by normal, as well as malignant, cells of the prostate gland. The PSA test measures the level of PSA in a man's blood. The blood level of PSA is often elevated in men with prostate cancer. The PSA test is used to monitor the progression of prostate cancer in men who had already been diagnosed with the disease. In addition to prostate cancer, several benign conditions can cause a man's PSA level to rise. The most frequent benign prostate conditions that cause an elevation in PSA level are prostatitis and benign prostatic hyperplasia. What is a normal PSA test result? There is no specific normal or abnormal level of PSA in the blood, and levels may vary over time in the same man. Most men without prostate cancer have PSA levels under 4 nanogram mil of blood. When prostate cancer develops, the PSA level often goes above 4. If your PSA level is high, further tests is needed to look for prostate cancer. Factors that might affect PSA levels. Factors that might raise PSA levels include an enlarged prostate. Conditions such as benign prostatic hyperplasia. PSA levels normally go up slowly as you get older, even if you have no prostate abnormality. Prostatitis can raise PSA levels. Ejaculation make the PSA go up for a short time. Some studies have suggested that cycling may raise PSA levels for a short time. Certain urologic procedures such as a prostate biopsy or cystoscopy, can raise PSA levels for a short time. Taking male hormones like testosterone may cause a rise in PSA. Some things might lower PSA levels. Certain drugs as 5-alpha reductase inhibitors can lower PSA levels. Some mixtures that are sold as dietary supplements might mask a high PSA level. Some research has suggested that long-term use of certain medicines, such as aspirin, statins, and thiazide diuretics might lower PSA levels. Special types of PSA tests. Percent free PSA. PSA occurs in two major forms in the blood. One form is attached to blood proteins, while the other circulates free. The percent free PSA is the ratio of how much PSA circulates free compared to the total PSA level. The percentage of free PSA is lower in men who have prostate cancer than in men who do not. Complex PSA test. This test directly measures the amount of PSA that is attached to other proteins. The prostate health index, which combines the results of total PSA, free PSA and PROP SA. The FORC score test, which combines the results of total PSA, free PSA, intact PSA, and human calocrane 2, along with some other factors. PSA velocity. The PSA velocity is not a separate test. It is a measure of how fast the PSA rises over time. Normally, PSA levels go up slowly with age. PSA density. PSA levels are higher in men with larger prostate glands. A higher PSA density indicates a greater likelihood of cancer. PSA density has not been shown to be as useful as the percent free PSA test. Age specific PSA ranges. PSA levels are normally higher in older men than in younger men, even when there is no cancer. A man's blood PSA level can vary over time. Some doctors recommend repeating the test after a month or so if the initial PSA result is abnormal.